Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. You know, Jan, on any given weekend, something amazing is happening in small towns across America. That's right, and in this small town, this weekend, it's all about performance. But the stage is liquid, the costumes, well, they have to be waterproof. <laughs> and footwear is optional. Whether on two skis, one ski, or no skis at all, everybody puts their best foot forward at the Wisconsin State Water Ski Show Championships. It's the largest and longest running water ski tournament in the world, and it's a spectacle like no other. If someone's never seen a ski show, they come to the championships, how would you describe what they're going to see or why they should come? Well, I think they're going to see some spectacular water skiing, first and foremost, but they're going to see some pretty incredible productions, too. The theming and the costuming that goes into these shows is truly incredible. It's just like mini plays, one hour mini plays throughout the whole day. This is the tournament's 55th year, and the last 40 have been right here on beautiful Lake Wazicha in Wisconsin Rapids. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee. Wisconsin's a northern state. You associate water skiing more with warmer climates, but yet Wisconsin leads the country in this. Why is that? Well, first of all, we have more bodies of water than Minnesota. You have 11,000. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> or close. Their lakes are frozen or just too plain cold most of the year. We're going. That's actually one of the secrets to Wisconsin's success. We're shut down for seven or eight months of the year. That enthusiasm, that passion just builds. You're out of the water and then all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I missed this, I missed this. And it's our favorite weekend of the year. So we came out to enjoy the afternoon. I'm having a blast here. So, Water skiing is only about 100 years old. It was invented in 1922 by 18-year-old Ralph Samuelson. Ralph tried snow skis on the water at first, but ended up creating his own design with bindings made of leather. He attracted a crowd, so from the time that he was towed behind a boat, there's been crowds watching somebody water ski. Being on water skis and performing in front of people really took off in popularity when Dick Pope Sr. started Cypress Gardens in Florida. And it wasn't too long after that that Tommy Bartlett took a traveling water ski show all across the world and then ultimately in the 1950s found a permanent home in the Wisconsin Dells. The passion of those early show pioneers led the way to these championships and each team has 90 minutes to put their best ski forward. So the timing is as follows. You have 20 minutes to set up, 60 minutes to perform and 10 minutes to clean up. But you know what? They are all on it. Just getting to the event and setting up is a feat in itself. Look at all the gear they need. Skis, ropes, costumes, more ropes, props, and they don't have stage hands. The skiers have to put their backs into it before they put their feet into it. Every single team you see here this weekend actually performs what we call home shows for the local crowds. Just for the local people. Yeah. Wow. And then come to the state championship to compete against their peer clubs. Ready? Have a good show. Many of those home shows are free to watch. So during the off season, the teams find ways to cover their expenses. Fundraising is a huge component of this sport too. For the costumes and the boats and the gas in the boats and insurance is a big expense. Sound equipment and all the skis and ropes and the props and the backdrop. Kind of like putting on mini Broadway production. Yeah. Absolutely it is. Come on, Greg, good driving, Greg. And just like the Great White Way, these productions on the Great Blue Water have show directors. Here comes that opening barefoot pyramid! What exactly does a show director do? Show director does everything. It starts with writing the theme. At that same time, you're actually writing the acts that you want to put in the show. What acts are going to flow together, what are going to complement each other. And then when it comes show time, you know, you're trying to put the best show on the water every week. Sort of like being a movie producer. It really is. And movies played a big part in this year's themes. Toy Story had 40 girls dressed like Jesse. Aladdin had his palace maidens. And there were pink ladies from Greece. And we said aloha to Moana. We also saw flappers, pirate pipsqueaks, and the cutest Viking invasion ever. I like to toot my own horns. <laughs> oh, you know what I love the best? Are you Leif Erikson? Leave me alone. The little ones. 
I love the payoffs. I'm a pretty unicorn. When they get up on that stage and they're waving, that smile is this big. That's the ones I love to watch. One thing that is so compelling about the teens is they are so family oriented, multi generation, grandparents, parents, and grandchildren. What are the youngest competitors that you have here? The youngest probably is about four. four. And I would say the oldest is between 65 and 68. So they got to be potty trained before they start skiing and then at the end too, I guess. <laughs> no diapers. Good point, good point. It's amazing, you can take just about anybody and get them into the show right away. That's the, that's the great thing about this sport, is you can have the whole family from, you know, three, four-year-old little kids, grandparents, everything. During the four high pyramids, I have one daughter that's up on top, one that's on the second level, two that's on the third level, and then me and my son on the bottom level. So it's pretty cool to ski along the pyramid. I can see my whole family out there. So it's just a healthy, family-oriented way to raise kids. It uh, keeps them busy and out of trouble, and they want to be with mom and dad, and we're blessed. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.